What's going on everybody, it's Carmine from Barmine Tech, and if you remember we've been working with the Jellyfin media server we were worked on in the last video. We're building off of the Zemo Boy Proxmox server, and today we're going to continue on with the Jellyfin server. I'm going to show you how to add plugins and add themes, or change your themes using plugins to your Jellyfin server so you can make it look similar to, let's say if you like Netflix or Plex or however you might want, we're going to show you how to change themes and some important plugins that I think you should have and how to add them. So let's get right into it. So if you remember, we were working on this Jellyfin server. We actually made it in the last video. And over here, I have only added some new media. Here's the video we showed in the previous one. And I actually added Big Buck Bunny just so I have something to show some info on. So here's the video. And remember, it gives just all the info, which is really nice. And uh, the details of the movie and it would go show us more suggestions and stuff but that's not what we're covering today we're gonna actually be going over how to add plugins so I'm just gonna go back to the home page and over here I have this github repo that has a lot of good information in it on plugins and themes and stuff like that so if I come down a little bit uh, we have some plugins that are just gonna like you know make the quality and the enjoyment a little bit better so like one plugin we're definitely gonna need is the skin manager plugins I'm gonna open that in a new tab because we're gonna need that next uh, let's see if we go through we have like analyst sync so if you're watching anime you can sync your progress on I guess this is a site you could use I don't really watch a lot of anime so I can't help you with that one but you can use uh, this plugin over here it'll help to detect intros and outros based on the audio segments so it'll like break down the video file so if you remember Plex does this so it's nice you could add that to Jellyfin um, we can go through here, we can look for newly added like pictures and stuff for um, any of your media that's on your server. If you want to hack, verify your users, you could add LDAP, so they have to do like a secure sign-in. Um, here's the skin manager, which I said we we're going to be using, so I'm going to open that up too, because we need to have something so we can get the skins and change them. Uh, there's the secure sign-on, like I was just saying. Uh, here's Jelly Scrub, so you can like scrub through videos as your media is playing. So you have like a little thumbnail so you can see what's going on and then there's themer so you get like theme songs for using the themer DB. This gut help also has other information on metadata, clients, and then it also has some other stuff you can use in a combination with Jellyfin. So, so I have a video on Jellyseer which we've actually worked in the past so you can make a request system for your Jellyfin server for your people, your friends, whoever's using it so they can just go on and request to get media and it'll send a notification so they're saying hey I want this. We also have down here the R's. We have like radar, sonar, TDAR to help organize and delegate your media. We have some other stuff down here like RFFF MPEG. And um, I think there was another one like TDAR to help you transcode. So there's a lot of good stuff in this uh, GitHub write up. But the stuff we're going to really focus on today is the plugins and the themes. So if I come over here, all these plugins are made by Daniel Dahl. And we're just going to grab the repo so we can add it. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to copy this, click copy link, and then it also tells you how you could do it if you get caught up. But it's going to be super simple and we're going to go way to Jellyfin now and work on this. So I'm back over in Jellyfin and I, the first step is to add the repository for all those plugins. So I'm going to come over to the hamburger menu up here in the top left and then we're going to dashboard. And we're going to scroll all the way down to plugins over here on the left. And in there, we're going to come to repositories. Now, mine might look a little different because I am in between some stuff. Um, I was messing with some themes and it seems to get hung up. So we're going to fix that after we reboot the server. So I'm just going to delete these. And I'm going to add in our new ones. So we're just going to click on the plus button. And then we're just going to add in um, the plugin we're working with. So I just wanted to double check. Um, so this repo that we're copying from is actually the master list so it should offer us multiple plugins. So I'm just going to come over here and we're going to copy the URL, paste it in there. And then I'm actually just going to come over here and let's see. I think I'll just grab that. We'll just do it like that just so I have it. And then we'll put that in there. I'm going to click save. It's going to give us a little warning because it's a third party plugin, so it's going to give us a little of that. And we'll come over here and now we're all good. So after you add the link, we're going to come into catalog. And in here, you can see there's all of our new plugins that we just added off that master list. So we have like the merge versions plugin, session cleaner, theme song, skin manager. And that's what we're really going to work with today is skin manager. Of course, you could check out the other plugins, and there's plenty more you could probably find online. And you would just add the repo, and then from there, you'd be able to work with it. 
session cleaner is a cool one because if somebody is like hung up watching their media or whatever, somebody else that you know, a friend's watching or whatever, after a certain time period, you can time out and close their session out so it's not lingering, eating up your bandwidth. Theme songs grabs the theme songs, and then there's other ones you could read through. There is the master list over here, so you can read through and see the list in forum. Like I said, it's over here too. But we're going to work with Skin Manager today because now we added our plugins. So let's move to Skin Manager and we're going to install this. We're going to click OK again because it has to, uh, you know, it's going to ask you if it's third party. Now we're going to reboot the server for it to take effect. So I'm just going to come over to my putty session that I have. I'm actually going to restart it real quick. I'm just going to log in. And we're going to do a quick pseudo reboot. Technically, all we need to do is restart the Jellyfin service. So I could do sudo system puddle restart jellyfin. And if I do status now, you can see the run. And so if I refresh this, we should be all set. And it looks like it's coming back up. So we're going to connect to our server. Could also just reboot and make it easier. This was probably more work to do it this way, but it's just another option. And then we can come over to Dashboard, because now we're going to administer it, and come to Plugins, and here now you can see my plugins for Skin Manager is active. So Skin Manager is cool because it has built-in themes so you can change around, and you can actually preview them as you're changing them. So like right here's the default Jellyfin one. Let's say you like Netflix and you want to theme some of that, there's Jellyfix and shows you all of the preview of what it's going to look like. Uh, let's see, there's like Ultra Chromic. A lot of different settings for that. So then you can see it has a nice look to it. Um, let's see what else we have. There's Jelly Theme, which I kind of like. Kind of nice, has a big graphics, nice look to it. So I think we might apply this. It has some options, so you could like change the mode, make it cleaner or normal. You could resize elements if you want. And stuff like that you can change the accent color but I'm gonna leave everything default and set the skin so now if I come back to the home page I might reboot the server one more time because I think it's a little hung up but you can see stuff starts to look a little bit different um, so that's our theme in place I do think it's hung up so I'm gonna restart it real quick and we'll be right back okay so we're back I rebooted the server and I also cleared my cache because it looks like the cache in my browser was getting hung up for the theme in the themes for Jellyfin are CSS, so it could get caught up in your browser as well. I actually ended up changing it to the Jellyflix theme. Um, so I'll just show you that real quick. Uh, seems to also get hung up sometimes, you might need a quick refresh, but I did change it to Jellyflix just because I thought it looked a little bit neater. Um, so you do have your previews, and if I go back to the home, you can see I don't really have much on the server, but I have Big Buck Bunny. And you can see now I have the nice display, it gives me the info. And the background is the thumbnail. So if I do change it again, we'll come into dashboard, plugins, and then we'll change it again. So I'll just refresh it. So like I said, it does seem to get hung up a little bit. So I'll just do this one. You can see it's a very different color theme. We're gonna go home. I'm just gonna refresh again. And you can see it's a little different. It's very gray and gloomy. Um, so you can keep changing as much as you want so you find a theme you like. I took a little look around and it doesn't really seem to be a great way to change the, um, the like add additional themes to like now you can see it changes in the dashboard but over here it seems to get hung up so I think it might be a CSS issue but you can see like now it changed again here's the, the dark and green it might just take time for the cache to clear out and stuff like that but you can see the themes are changing and we do have it. Um, like I was saying, I was looking for a way to add more themes to it, and it looks like with this plugin, you kind of only have what they give you. They do, they do give you a nice set of um, themes to use, but it would be nice to be able to add more. There are custom, and you can change it if you want to add your own, but there's a lot of options to that. You probably add new themes through the files for everything, but I'm not going to do that just because I don't have interest in that, really. I think this is good how it is. And I like how it looks, and you can see if I come back over here like it has it, so I think we're going to run with it just how it is this way. But just like this, now we have added 
plugins and change themes. So like I said, you can come over here and you can grab other plugins if you find them, or of course you can Google it. Like I said, we added, so like we work with this plugin list, which is the master list from Daniel Zav, and you can always come over and add more plugins that you might like. Um, I do this the long way. If you click hamburger menu and then we go to dashboard, you get your plugins a little bit quicker. And then you can just browse the catalog and add any other ones you might want. So like theme songs could be cool. And then there were some other ones. So actually let's grab the, let's see the scrubbing one. There it is, jelly scrub. So we'll come over here and we're gonna select this. And it's a different person. So it is having a different link. So I'm gonna grab the repo. You're gonna add it and we'll do jelly scrub in that we'll click OK now we'll come over here and while we see we have jelly scrub so we're gonna install that we'll click OK again and it's gonna reboot again so we're back in and I just added that plugin so if we come over here you can see it's active and if I go home again I could play this and we can show you how it works so I'm gonna just hit play and we'll give this a second to pull the stream up so I do have the movie playing I, I did pause it currently but you can see if I scrub along the timeline I get a card of a time stamp on it but the image isn't showing and looking into it it's because my hardware on this machine is really limited so it's taking a long time to generate the image so that's my problem so if you're running jellyfin server with better hardware remember I only have two cores of CPU and I have like four gigs of RAM on this machine if that so it's struggling to host this right now so we can start seeing the limitations of the Proxmox Zima board but that is so you can see it scrubs along so of course if I come over here it'll actually show us and you can see you can scrub along the timeline and it works nicely so it's up there it shows it on there so that's how it would work we're partially getting it but we do have a hardware limitation unfortunately so as we can see now, we start having some issues with the Proxmox Zemo board server, which is no big deal. We expect it to run into issues, and um, it seems that like we're starting to find them. But uh, we're going to work past this, and we, now we know there's plugins that might have some issues with it. Uh, but so this was how you add plugins and change the themes of your Jellyfin server. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, make sure to drop a like and hit the bell notification so when you see when I post the videos. And if there's plugins or themes that you like to use, drop them in the comments below. And maybe it's something that somebody else might want to use in their Jellyfin server. So again, thank you guys for watching. I have a Discord channel and I will put that in the description below. And all the other links for hardware and everything else that I use in all my videos. So again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.